Rob Wolchek is an investigative journalist out of Detroit. He's a true journalist, one who puts in maximum effort. And he's not out there trying to push some cause. He's just trying to uncover fraudsters. He's doing the community service that a lot of journalists were supposed to be doing, but instead veered off like the Young Turks. In this episode, Rob Walchek has uncovered for us a local lawyer. It's actually a judge named Dennis Powers. He holds court in Detroit, and he's a crook. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Okay, I'm going to be pushing the intellectual property limits here, so I'm going to try to be as fair as I can to Rob. I don't want to try to steal his content, so I'm going to try to trim this back as much as I can. Um, you really, really need to subscribe to his channel, though. Every time he gets on there, he's going after someone, and he is fearless and quite funny, too. Let's watch him go after this judge. It's Monday morning, May 20th at the 52nd District Court. The docket is full. Court starts at 834 sharp. All these defendants and all these attorneys are waiting. But his honor isn't here. By 9, there's still no judge in this Novi courtroom. In fact, the judge isn't even in Novi. There's his shiny white vehicle in front of his house miles away. It's 9.08, and he has not left for work yet. All he has not left this place yet. It's 9.08. People have been inside that room now for over half an hour waiting for him, but they're going to have to wait a little bit longer. All rise for the Honorable Dennis Powers. My opinion right now is that you're kind of a lazy judge. Well, that's your opinion. A guy who's sucking in a salary of $138,272 a year of taxpayer money. You're never at court on time, are you? I'm where I'm supposed to be, when I'm supposed to be, whenever I'm supposed to be there. Now, what the hell does that mean? If a defendant ever pulled that kind of crap on him, he'd get all pissed off at it. Oh, and by the way, um, the young lady talking to him there, we'll see more of her throughout the video. And having one heck of a good time doing it. Judges are supposed to be in court and take care of business, and they do that. And you I know what you're thinking. Well, kissing your wife, what's wrong with that? Uh, you'll see. It's 9 a.m. on Friday, May 17th. The courthouse is open. There's the judge's wheels parked in front of his house. It is 9.05, and there's the judge's car. Judge Powers doesn't even leave his home until 11.55. Man, it must be nice to sleep in. He's already three and a half hours late. 12.15 and here he is chowing down and chewing the fat in a Waterford gas station slash Subway slash Dunkin' Donuts. 12 Told you we'd be seeing more of her. 55, the judge heads into McDonald's. Quite an appetite for a guy who hasn't been to work yet. 105, Judge Powers goes to the credit union in Waterford. Gotta take care of all that taxpayer money here. At least we know that McDonald's will get even with him over the long haul. At 127, the judge is in Union Lake, filling his tank. And at 220, Judge Powers arrives for a long, hard day at court. But not too long, since the courthouse closes in two hours and ten minutes. And if you think this was an easy day, wait until I show you what he does on Monday. But first, I gotta show you the courtroom calendar. There are three judges at Novi's 52-1 court. Judges Bondi, Powers, and McKenzie. While it appears Judge Bondi has this week off in March, Judge Powers is listed as attending a conference. But I found out Judge Powers wasn't at a conference. He was in Aruba. Yes, yeah. Are you getting pissed yet? Hey, at least look at the bright side. You don't live in Detroit. You're not paying for it. Relaxing at the La Cabana Beach and Racquet Club. 
He was booked at the Solera Surfside in Miami in January, the same week his calendar says he was at another conference. February, he was booked at the Casa del Mar Resort, the exact same week his calendar says he was at another conference. And in late April and early May, we actually followed the judge during his conference week. There he is, vacationing with his wife. With his wife? Oh, by the way, Rob followed him to Tennessee. <laughs> I think that's great. You can't get away from him. I mean, maybe if you go to Aruba. At the Mountain Loft Resort in Tennessee. Yep, it's another conference week. And there's Judge Powers at another blue... You know, his wife seems to have gotten, like, older and... This is like watching the British version of The Office. Like, it's funny, but awkward and sad at the same time. Yes. Green Resort, living it up. After taking a whole week off work, the judge has the nerve to show up an hour and 45 minutes late when he gets back on the job. But that's no surprise, because I watched him pull into the parking lot late all the time. Remember, court starts at 8.34 a.m. And even though he always showed up late, he's always up for a nice break from the courthouse here at the Donut House. The clock is ticking, but the judge is kicking. Kicking back with a long john and a lady friend. Man, you are so local, man. Judge Powers isn't a hanging judge. He's a hanging around judge. We watch the judge loaf around for days and days and days, but nothing like this next day. You know what? I wonder how many defendants have been chewed out by this judge for, what, stealing, being dishonest, corruption? Yeah, think about it. Uh, these guys are the absolute worst when it comes to lecturing others on dishonesty. Monday, May 13th, it's 11.03, and the judge hasn't even left his house yet. His docket had 23 cases, all starting early in the morning. 11.32, the judge gets a car wash just a mile from the court. 11.36, fill her up. Gee, the judge hasn't even been to work yet, and he's not going. 12 noon, Judge Powers is at a swanky country club in Commerce Township. First, he gets his grub on, and then he gets his game on. Why waste a nice day in a stuffy old courthouse? Instead of swinging the gavel, Judge Powers spends his whole day swinging his golf clubs. That golf swing was local. Obviously, he doesn't spend too much time on the golf course. Not with that swing. Exactly one week after the golf day on May 20th, I'm ready to bring some order to the court. Oh, I love this part about Rob. He goes after them. Hey, uh, where were you this morning? Where were we going with her this morning? Well, get ready. You're going to be looking into the eyes of a liar. Well, you had court at 8.30, and I had a camera in the courtroom request, and you didn't show up till close to 10 o'clock. Well, I didn't show up in the courtroom until 10 o'clock. That's correct, sir. I love it. He says, well, I didn't show up in the courtroom at 10 o'clock. He doesn't realize Rob's been there all morning long. He knows you didn't show up in the parking lot until you were really, really late. Come on. Mm, I saw you pulling into the parking lot at around 9.57. Well, I don't know what time it was for sure, but it could have been, yes, sir. Okay. Where were you? How come you were late? I had to run an errand. I had to run an errand? Gee, I wonder if Rob Walchek is going to fall for that excuse. Let's play and find out. He didn't run any errand. He didn't leave his house until 9.30. Rob was hanging out at his house, waiting for him to go to work. Now that's a journalist. What time do you get to work on Friday? Mm, noon, I think. No, you got to work at 2.20. What did you have going on Friday that... Oh, 2.20 noon, they're kind of close. Made it so you didn't get to work till after 2 o'clock. I had a meeting. You had a meeting? Yes, sir. Who was the meeting with? I prefer not to say. Yeah, because your wife is probably watching the show. Well, I'd prefer to say. Here's his meeting. What happened last Monday when you canceled your whole docket? We had a golf outing. Had a golf outing? Yes, sir. So you canceled your whole docket? 
Yes, sir. So you had a whole bunch of attorneys and defendants, and, well, I, and I canceled it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. It was a chamber golf outing. Mm -hmm. That's correct. I participated in that. Yes, sir. A chamber golf outing. Oh, so important. He's got to go to those. But aren't you being paid by the county to be a judge? Yes, sir. Do you think you put in a good week of work last week? I do, sir. Oh, yeah. This poor guy worked like a dog. Wouldn't it be an inconvenience for the attorney to have to reschedule everything because the judge is off golfing? But you know, what you put off golfing is a little bit different than being in a community golf outing. Uh, no, I think it's golfing. And, and you'll find out that that's part of what being a judge is about. Local! Huh? Gee, I thought this was what being a judge was about. And what so let me get this straight. Part about what being a judge is about is community golfing. Um, what about those who don't golf? What about those who can't golf? Maybe they're handicapped. They can't be judges? I mean, really? Okay. So you're going back to court now? No, I'm going to go golfing right now. I got my clubs and I'm heading off to the golf course. Are you being sarcastic? I, I don't am. even know. I'm being sarcastic. Okay, yes, well, I you am. were golfing last week, weren't you? I was golfing And last you had Monday. a docket. I had no docket. I canceled the docket to attend a chamber golf outing. Well, I'm going to go get the docket so I can see, and I'll talk to those attorneys, and I'll see how they felt, and the defendants, how they felt about the fact that you canceled the docket, and they took days off from work, and they rescheduled things, and you were out golfing, and I'll see what they have to say. Well, the man is a crook. The thing about it is, is that these are the people who are incorrigible. This judge belongs in prison. This is no different the knocking over a liquor store. Just as dishonest. And this guy's pilfering how much money from the local taxpayers, and he knows he's doing it. He doesn't care. I have more respect for the common thief than this person. Like my video, subscribe to my channel.